For today's video, we are going to talk about how to identify the equations of conic sections and we are going to explain everything in details. The general form of equation of conic sections is written in the form of ax square plus bxy plus cy square plus dx plus ey plus f equals 0. If the coefficient of x square is equal to the coefficient of y square, we can say that the given equation is a circle. And if the value of a or the value of c is equal to 0 but not both equal to 0, that means if we don't have an x square term or y square term, the given equation is a parabola. And if the coefficient of x square is not equal to the coefficient of y square but they have the same sign, we can say that the given equation is an ellipse. And lastly, if the coefficient of x square is not equal to the coefficient of y square but they have different sign, we can say that the given equation is a hyperbola. So these are the basic concepts that you need to remember in order for us to identify the equations of conic sections. So let's start and let's have an example. On the given set of examples, we are going to identify the conic sections using the given equations. On number 1, x squared plus y squared plus 4x minus 6y minus 12 equals 0. Since the coefficient of x square and y square are the same, we can say that this equation is a circle. And this will be our answer. On number 2, we have 25x square plus 4y square minus 50x plus 8y minus 71 equals 0. Since the coefficient of x square is not equal to the coefficient of y square but they have the same sign, Therefore, we can say that this equation is an ellipse. So this will be our answer. On example number 3, 9x squared minus 4y squared minus 18x minus 16y minus 43 equals 0. Since the coefficient of x squared is not equal to the coefficient of y squared, at the same time they don't have the same sign, Therefore, we can say that this equation is a hyperbola. So this will be our answer. On number 4, we have x squared plus 8x plus 61y plus 64 equals 0. Since we don't have y squared, we can say that this equation is a parabola. So this will be our answer. On example number 5, 16x squared plus 81y squared minus 324y minus 972 equals 0. Since the coefficient of x squared is not equal to the coefficient of y squared but they have the same sign, we can say that this equation is an ellipse. So this will be our answer. On number 6, we have 16x squared minus 4y squared plus 24y minus 100 equals 0. Since the coefficient of x squared is not equal to the coefficient of y squared, at the same time they have different sign, we can say that this equation is a hyperbola. So this will be our answer. On example number 7, we have y squared minus 8x plus 10y plus 57 equals 0. Since we don't have x squared, we can say that this equation is a parabola. On number 8, we have 3x squared plus 3y squared minus 2x plus y minus 5 equals 0. Since the coefficient of x square is equal to the coefficient of y square, we can say that this equation is a circle. And this will be our answer. On example number 9, we have 9x square minus y square plus 81 equals 0. Since the coefficient of x square is not equal to the coefficient of y square, at the same time they have different sign, we can say that this equation is a hyperbola. And this will be our answer. On our last example, we have 4x squared plus y squared plus 16x minus 10y minus 23 equals 0. 
since the coefficient of x square is not equal to the coefficient of y square but they have the same sign we can say that this equation is an ellipse and this will be our answer so i hope you've learned from this video thank you so much for watching and god bless us all